Business news from the home office with your Pratt Pack on this Monday, December the 17th, 2018. Investors hoping to avoid the first annual decline for major U.S. stock indexes since 2015 are dreaming of a Santa Claus rally. Since 1969, the S&P 500 has averaged a gain of 1.3% over the seven-day period that encompasses the last five sessions of the year and the first two trading days of the new year. This is according to the Dow Jones market data. U.S. stocks kicked off the week under pressure as investors awaited a key Federal Reserve meeting amid mounting signs of slowing economic growth around the world. Dow Jones Industrial Average slumped 22 points or 1%. The blue chip index tumbled nearly 500 points Friday, and the U.S. major U.S. indexes fell into correction territory, or a drop of at least 10% from a recent height for the first time since March of 2016. President Trump argued today on Twitter that it was incredible that Federal Reserve policy members were considering raising interest rates again, continuing his public campaign against tighter monetary policy. Alphabet Inc.'s Google announced a major real estate expansion in New York City that will make the company one of the city's largest commercial tenants and adds thousands of jobs. In a blog today, Google said it would lease a large office building at 550 Washington Street in Manhattan's West Village neighborhood and make it the centerpiece of its new 1.7 million square foot Hudson Square campus. The charged politics around funding a wall along the southern border has both parties struggling to keep the government funded as the clocks tick towards a partial shutdown at week's end. With seven spending days set to expire at 12.01 a.m. Saturday, Republicans and White House officials over the weekend discussed a two-week spending measure that would push the fight into next year. Don't forget Heffron Tillotson's Your Money and You every Sunday, 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. on KDKA Radio.